Okay, hello, um, I'm uh, Professor Longo, and, um, and today um, I wanted to uh, just uh, do a brief uh, live uh, that is focused on, uh, on one particular patient who also happens to be a physician. And, uh, and so uh, I wanted to uh, tell his story, but I wanted to tell his story uh, also knowing that we have uh, uh, three or four clinical trials that are uh, actually finished and that we will publish soon. And so uh, I think his story is particularly important to sort of precede uh, the, the clinical data on hundreds of patients, uh, uh, which uh, we, and um, but particularly hospitals around the world in Europe and the United States, uh, are about to publish. Uh, and um, in his case is about um, the work uh, done by the foundation, in this case in Milan, the clinic, the foundation clinic and, and Dr. Cervini uh, in Milan. And, uh, and, and, and in this case, uh, uh, we're talking about a combination of uh, um, the fasting mimicking diet and the longevity diet. And I'll remind you the longevity diet is a, uh, a, a vegan plus fish, a pescatarian diet uh, that is high nourishment, uh, uh, but also the longevity diet uh, uh, includes, when necessary, eating within, well, includes uh, eating within 12 hours a day, uh, every day, but also when necessary includes eating breakfast plus either lunch or dinner and then have a snack uh, replacing uh, the third meal. Um, a snack, it could be nuts, it could be a fruit, uh, it could be a small salad. Um, okay, so then I wanted to get started uh, with, uh, with Dr. Caputo. Uh, and let him tell his story, and then uh, we'll show some slides about uh, the changes, the type of diet that he did, how the clinic intervened on him, and then um, the changes in his uh, blood markers and, uh, and disease risk factor. Uh, so, Dr. Caputo, I I hello, uh, welcome. Well, good evening, uh, everybody. In Italy, it's evening. Good okay, morning. yeah, good, good evening, good evening. Uh, yeah, so then um, if you want to just uh, uh, tell us your story and, uh, and the process you went through, you're, you're, a, you're a physician, uh, and so uh, I thought it was a particularly uh, important story to tell. Okay, yes, Professor. I can uh, briefly summarize my whole story. One day, a friend of mine, a laboratory owner, calls me and says, hey, Francesco, you have diabetes. From that moment, on a kind of overall began for me, even mental, because you know that diabetes is a, a disease with no cure. Let's say that is uh, considered a chronic disease, one that you will follow into the grave. So, Consulting my colleagues, friends, and others, I started the classic therapies until one day I met uh, a very dear friends of mine from schools and a university professor of endocrinology who said to me, come, I'll check you and let's see how to do it. Essentially, he prescribed me medicine, which uh, initially were 500 milligrams of metformin per day, with the addition of uh, diaprinus, an herbal uh, product. This thing lasted for a few months, and uh, obviously, my blood sugar remained more or less the same. In the meantime, I also discovered that I have an uh, hypertension problem. So at the point, I also began talking medication for that. So in conclusion, we go on with increasing uh, the doses. Essentially, the product of the clinical medical minds is that you are fighting a war so when the weapons uh, you use are blunt, you increase uh, their firepower. So they arrived at, uh, uh, I arrived to 
500 milligram of metformin three times a day, then 800 milligram until we came to the prescription of uh, an innovative drug, a weekly intramuscular injection of trulicity. This drug helped me to lose some weight for about a year, about three, four kilos, along with the, a background diet that was too restrictive, but anti-diabetics. It was decided to change yet again to another product called Ozempic, an injection once a week, uh, which according to me should have helped me to lose uh, weight very quickly. In reality, in the span of four months, I gained back uh, all the weight I had lost with Trulicity, and uh, I even put on a few more. At this point, I asked myself a question. From me on out, what will happen? I will take insulin once a day, then twice, and then more and more until my pancreas is absolute trash. So, I thought about changing my eating habits and I started a diet prescribed me by Dr. Servini, as well as periodical cycles of fasting mimicking diet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then uh, if uh, Romina, if you want to uh, show the, the first uh, uh, slide. Okay, so then uh, I don't see it, but uh, um, so the uh, at the time where you were taking both diabetes drugs and uh, hypertension drugs, um, you started a uh, about I think uh, from uh, if, if I remember correctly nine months of uh, a longevity diet, right? This pescatarian uh, diet, and then um, and then uh, okay, so now we're gonna have the slides up. Um, yeah, if you can make a large uh, Marco. Okay, so then if you see here, um, so uh, Dr. Caputo uh, spoke until the point where you say you see the number one, right? So, uh, and this is uh, this particular slide is showing uh, weight, just body weight. So now he starts, uh, he's on the, the hypertension drugs, he's on the diabetes drugs, he starts a longevity diet, and uh, you know, goes from about 94 kilograms to uh, 92 kilograms in about nine months. Uh, and, uh, but then uh, he starts the cycles of the fasting making diet, and he also starts a, a little bit more uh, restrictive uh, longevity diet. And, and now you see that the weight uh, uh, drops further, um, and um, eventually, uh, by uh, 18 months or so, uh, he's only taking one hypertension drug. And by uh, month uh, uh, 25, 26 or so, he's now down to no drugs at all um, in, in a good weight, maybe not reaching the ideal yet, but close. And, and uh, Romina, if you can go to the next slide. Uh, and you see the systolic blood pressure is interesting difference between the systolic blood pressure and, and, what I, and the hyperglycemia that I'll show you in, in the next slide. So the, the systolic blood pressure is, seems to be uh, going with the weight, right? So it's progressively losing weight uh, uh, and, uh, and the systolic blood pressure improves uh, and eventually goes from 140 to about 130. Uh, but, the, um, but the most impressive part uh, which is already very good because it got him off the the hypertension drug, uh, and I think now his, his blood pressure is about his systolic is about 120. Uh, but next slide, uh, Romina, uh, you see now the fasting uh, blood glucose. This is what we've seen in, in already in the published clinical trials, but we're also seeing in the new trials. You see that how the 
the hyperglycemia problem uh, really ne uh, needs a FMD cycle. It needs these three FMD cycles, and now by the end of it is on its way uh, to be back in the normal range, um, and, uh, and and by uh, 27 months or so uh, is in uh, is in perfect health. Um, so so um, Romina, if you want to go to the next slide. Yeah, so then at the foundation, uh, what uh, in Los Angeles, but also in Milan, um, uh, Romina and the other dietitians uh, and nutritionists have been able to collect data now for 140 patients. Uh, and, and what we're doing in the clinic is combining, as I just showed you, the longevity diet and the fasting mimicking diet cycles. Um, and, um, and in this particular study, which we're gonna publish soon, uh, uh, there are uh, 40 obese, 40 overweight, and 60 normal weight patients. And, and just as a, as a, um, uh, to show you some of the data that will be included in the paper, uh, I'm showing you the, the, the weight loss, uh, and you see the, the differential weight loss in the obese, overweight, and normal weight population. And that's what we want, right? So we, do, we want the, the obese to lose a lot of weight, and we want the, the uh, overweight to, to lose some weight, and, and the normal weight to to remain, let's say, either rich or remain in the ideal uh, weight situation. Uh, so, so Franco, uh, how um, how are you doing now? And uh, are you taking any drugs? And how's your blood pressure? Now, I practically no longer take drugs. The pressure is uh, perfect because it travels from uh, one and fifteen to 125 maximum, and from 70 to 85 minimum. I no longer take drugs except uh, uh, three times a week uh, when I supplement, supplement uh, with uh, magnesium and potassium, which uh, I believe help uh, uh, contraction of uh, uh, myocardic, uh, myocardial contraction and uh, so now I am normalized from the hypertensive point of view. Regarding my glycemic control, I am recovering from poor decision I made this summer. Let's say that uh, all in all, after the latest test made today, my level are normal. Yeah, but your, your A1C levels are, are still normal, even in the summer, yeah. right? What was your A1C in the summer? Okay, glycate uh, uh, hemoglobin is uh, about 5.7, and fasting blood glucose uh, this morning was 76. Okay, all right, so you're in, you're in good shape. And, and so this is an important point, the magnesium and the potassium. Uh, so it's also, I think, very important to understand when diet is changed uh, that there, there could be adjustment needed to, uh, that are needed uh, to make sure that you don't solve a problem and cause another problem. This is really a, a very much underestimated uh, part of, of, of medicine, I think, but uh, very, very important. So, you know, longevity diet, fasting mimicking diet, both of them together, radical changes on the diet, and maybe you're starting to see maybe minor, but uh, some side effects and, and, and Dr. Caputo uh, realized being a doctor that maybe magnesium and potassium were needed to uh, to reduce uh, some of these uh, uh, side effects that uh, I don't know if you call them side effects but certainly um, uh, conditions that uh, may result from a drastic uh, uh, change in the diet and I think you know each person is probably uh, gonna face different issues you know, some people could have hypoglycemia hypotension you know so go to the opposite uh, uh, side and uh, and I think it's very important for the healthcare professional uh, to uh, to understand that not just treat uh, the 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 original disease. You see how here there's a lot of moving parts, right? The diabetes, the hypertension, um, and potentially some some heart issues, uh, uh, and uh, uh, and so all of them have to be looked at together. Uh, and again, uh, underlining the need for team medicine and the team should not be just uh, physicians. I think uh, it should be physicians, uh, uh, nutritionists uh, and, and molecular biologists uh, focused on, on specific diseases. Well, Dr. Caputo, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, and, 
and uh, and thanks also to uh, Dr. Cervini and, and her team in Milan. Uh, and again, uh, the, we have an operating uh, clinic in Los Angeles, uh, Create Cure, the foundation clinic in, in Santa Monica. Uh, and so uh, we're happy to collaborate uh, uh, with that, any doctor or uh, healthcare professional that wants to uh, um, collaborate with us.